Hey guys, it is Heather and I am testing a new recipe. So we will see, this is me just kind of messing around in my own kitchen, sort of trying to work out a recipe that I've been working on for a while now. And so let's see if uh, it turns out well. I'm making a body butter. And I'm making it with mango, shea, sweet almond oil, coconut oil, and tapioca starch. First thing I'm going to do is add in my mango butter. Now I've sterilized everything. I sprayed my hands down with alcohol. I'm making this for myself, so I'm not um, I'm not worrying so much about the gloves and all that because I'm making it for myself in my kitchen. This is my shea butter. Next up is the coconut oil. I'm going to melt these down just a little bit to soften them. I'm not going to melt them completely because I'll be whipping them up. But I am going to melt them down just a bit so that before I add in my other oils, my tapioca starch and my fragrance oil. up just a little bit I wanted to make sure that all the oils were um, worked out and that there weren't any big lumps in it okay now once I have mixed it just that little bit to make sure everything was nice and creamy I'm going to go ahead and add in my sweet almond oil and my tapioca starch. And what the tapioca starch is, uh, or what it does, is keeps it from getting overly greasy. As I said before, this is just a really small test batch just for me to see if I formulated my recipe the way I wanted it to be, the way I wanted it to feel. Um, and I'm going to add in a little bit of the fragrance oil now. And normally I would add in um, a phenonip or a optifin. 
but I'm not doing that today because it is my tester. And I'm doing my fragrance is a Cabana Coconut and the White Jasmine Vanilla mixture. nice and mixed in what I'll do is get an ice bath move this out of the way Now you can already see that it is beginning to thicken up. Okay, now I'm going to let it cool off just a little bit more and then I'm going to come back and continue mixing. Okay guys, now it has cooled down. It's not frozen by any means, but it's definitely thickened up. So I want to continue whipping it. I scraped down the sides to make sure that everything was nice and combined and there weren't any lumps. Okay, now I'm going to take just a little bit off the paddle and rub it in. It's 
very, very soft, very silky. Very, very thick. As you can see, it looks like whipped cream or frosting. This would be a very good night cream or to put on right after you take a bath because it is butters and oils, no waters, to liquid it down so it's pure butters. And it's super rich and creamy. All right, I'm going to test this for a while, see how it works, and it just may become part of my summer line of products. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.